Hi, it's Kim from Expressions of the Universe, and I'm here today to review a brand new deck. It is Antiquities of Magic Oracle, and I have the sneak peek right there. Um, I did receive this deck on August 1st. I'm recording this on August 8th. I wasn't expecting it this soon, the second time around. I'll explain. I contributed to this Kickstarter project for this deck from Jillian C. Wild. She's the creator of the Naked Heart Tarot deck, which is one of mine and a lot of your favorite deck. And so, I contributed to that. I think we were expected to receive the decks February of 2020. We all know what happened in the world. So I'm going to do the reveal today with all of you. I did take this. I'm going to stop sharing and come back here. I opened it out of the mailer package. However, I didn't take the plastic off even yet as tempted as I was I really wanted to wait until I could review this with all of you and then in the meantime this beautiful little bonus package came so we're going to open that together as well I'm going to pan down a little bit so that you can all see you don't need to be seeing me. You want to see this beautiful, gorgeous deck and the little, the little bonus. I don't even know what's in here. So, I mean, I could kind of see. All right. So there's a beautiful card here. Um, this is frameable. This has symbol symbols from the Naked Heart Tarot deck, as you can see. This is autographed by Jillian C. Wild herself. Um, there's a key in there, which that's an, an amazing symbol for me. And there is an amethyst point as well. So let's open this up and take a look. Back it up a little bit. Ah. So yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful piece of art that I can frame, and I'm going to put that in my office. Um, I'm designing a new office space to do these videos and readings, and then we have this really lovely amethyst point. These are always good for everything. Um, beautiful key little keychain so I will add that to my keys because that will always remind me that I always have the key to unlock and open up anything my heart desires and this says the key a symbol of your potential and the magic that is locked within thank you for your support love you so Jillian and there have that up there so if you have not checked out uh, her naked heart tarot deck please do so she's on Instagram Jillian C wild I follow her you know I've used her decks <laughs> for the past couple of years so this here's some of the symbolism that we're going to find in here and I have my handy little knife that I'm going to very gently uh, slice open this plastic. Can you believe that I waited this long so that I could share this with you? Um, I can't believe that I waited this long. I wanted to rip open to it immediately and my guides told me to wait. So now they're there's the box without the glare of the plastic. And you notice how this says volume one. So I'm assuming that there will be more volumes to come. Traditional tarot symbols. 
and on the back of the box it says it is a 54 card deck and detailed guidebook volume one traditional tarot symbols symbols act as clues that help guide your personal growth learn and explore sacred language of the universe enhance your intuition and connection to self use this deck to create a more magical and meaningful understanding of life. And it says, read your oracle, enhance your tarot readings, develop and strengthen your intuition, learn the traditional tarot symbols, build your symbolic dictionary, create and set magical intentions, reflect upon your dreams. Okay, so here's the absolutely gorgeous guidebook hopefully you can all see that i don't i'm hoping there there isn't a lot of glare and then the guidebook oh i love this so there's a little little place on each page to put your own thoughts as you study and um you know, dive into this and get to know this deck. So it's hard sometimes to read immediately from a tarot deck until you have connected with it and spent time with it. Okay, so this, oh, this is so cute. It says Antiquities of Magic astrology cards and i think this was a bonus that came with the kickstarter so we're gonna have to open that up and you know i'm going to love this because you know i'm all about the astrology so this on the inside cover oops whoops oh and they're tiny little cards they're so adorable oh my gosh that's interesting because the card deck that i'm making uh i was going to do tiny cards there's a beautiful ribbon here so that you can pull this out quickly the box is lovely it looks like a wooden box this is absolutely beautiful jillian i hope you get to see this so this message here says when we create space from our fears and surrender, the universe shows us everything. Magic and miracles are yours to receive, Jillian. And that's one of the reasons why I named my business Expressions of the Universe because of that exact uh, saying, uh, you know, the universe shows us everything. But expressions of the universe, it's not just one form of art or divination. Coming back up here. It encompasses so much. And that's why I wanted expressions of the universe, because I didn't want to be pigeonholed into just tarot and oracle readings or just into astrology, because... I am an artist and I am a writer and I, I mean, I'm a lot of different things. Um, I'm just not this one thing that can be pigeonholed. So I needed expressions of the universe because whatever moves me, that's the direction that I'm going in. So let's take a look I'm gonna pull this up just a little bit more. Okay. So that I could be a little more centered. What should I open? Which should I open up first? The Antiquities Magical Astrology Cards. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. So there's a little card here. I'm going to come back down a little bit so that I can be in there. This card here. They all have the same face, but this is just giving a little, little breakdown of each astrology sign. So for me, Gemini, ruling planet Mercury, element air, mode is mutable. 
um, so that it does give a breakdown of each one. And I will, I'll, I'll, I will uh, take a picture of these. I'll, I'll post all of these. You'll see them. And then each little card, it is the constellation of of each astrological sign and that is what i've been painting a little bit on some of my paintings i've had there's taurus so these are so cute these are really pretty they look they look like ancient decks that have burned been burnished on the ends and that's another technique that i've been using uh, on the deck that i'm creating so let's go through each one so that you could see. All right, Aries, Taurus. I may have to lick, lick my fingers. Yes, my hands are clean. Uh, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and last but not least, Pisces. So that is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, here we go. I'm going to crack the seal on this. Cracking the seal. I love this. I love this part when I do this on a deck because they usually all come like this. Ha ha ha. All right. Adorable. All right. It says on the on the face card. This deck has been set with the healing intention of connecting you with the ancient wisdom of symbols. May it help deepen your relationship with self and the universe. All the answers you seek are mirrored in the divine. I am glad we found each other. I am too. It's so crazy how I came. I don't even remember how I came across Jill, but... Um, I've been just so connected to her and when she was creating Naked Heart Tarot, I fell in love with that and I couldn't get enough. And um, yeah, I want the top of my head in here, but at the same time, I just want to show you this deck. So you know what? I'm going to pan down, back down here again so that I can just show you these fantastic cards. So we have Angel. Uh, these are beautiful. I love these. We have armor. This is bench. Bird. Blindfold. Oh, that's a good one. Bull. So you can see that butterfly, castle, chain, another good one, cloud, coffin, crown, I want to make sure I've got these right because I'm reading them upside down, dog, Feather, fire, that is, oh, oh, fish, sorry, I couldn't read that, flag, flower bouquet, globe, grape, hammer, these, I bet you, are going to be fantastic for 
for reading. And I am going to be using these probably tomorrow. Hand, heart, horse, house. House always represents the self. I can't wait to see what this book says. Ice, like my heart. Key, like the key provided in the Kickstarter packet. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Lantern. Leaf. Lily. Lion. Lizard. Lobster. I am still looking for my lobster. I hope to find him soon. Moon. Mountain. Ocean. Pathway. Pillar. Pomegranate. That's a Halloween symbolism. Scorpio energy. Ram. Rose. Scale. I immediately thought of Libra. <laughs> Scale. Temperance also. Justice. Um, ship. Oh, this is so cute. Snail. Snake. This is beautiful, too. I think they're all beautiful. Sphinx. Staff. Star. Oh, that's so pretty. So, so pretty. Sun. Sunflower. Tree. Tulip. Wolf. And last but not least, wreath. So there you have it. Antiquities of Magic Oracle. I can't wait till we all dive into this and I start reading what her symbolism is. Um, I mean, it's all traditional symbolism. Sorry. Sorry about the, the camera. I hope you like this video. Please share it with your friends. I will be checking this out because I have to connect with the deck. I'm sure. Uh, just based on her last deck and the explanations and the little guidebook, um, it, they're so explanatory. I highly recommend getting this. I don't know if it's available on Amazon yet, but check her out on Instagram. See if they're available on Amazon. If they are, I'll post that on my website, expressionsoftheuniverse.com, and I'll put a direct link in there for the, this and her previous deck. That's a great idea, Kim. Why didn't I think about that before? <laughs> anyway, thank you, Jillian, for your incredible creativity, beautiful artwork. I know you spent a lot of time on these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay tuned for my weekly wisdoms, my weekly videos, and my September tarot scope that's coming up. Um, but if you have it, just go and check out all of my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, expressionsoftheuniverse.com. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you have tarot and oracle lovers, share this video. You know, let's get this out there. And um, give me some thumbs up, comment me, tell me what you think about this deck. If you have it, let me know what you're thinking about it. And so, yeah, 
I will, I'll see you in the next video. Until, until later. Peace. Bye.